Coach, first of all, congrats on the win today. Yeah, appreciate um, it. Yeah. Start with just an opening statement on the on the overall performance of the team. Well, we needed a bounce back. You know, these last three weeks have been tough. Uh, you know, losing's never fun, and, and you get into a three-game losing streak, and, and you know, it, it's you start, you know, walking around with maybe not the type of attitude you had when you were two and zero. But our guys responded the way they needed to respond, and I thought all week long we bounced back from this. Grand Valley defeat really well in terms of our practice habits, uh, the way we approached uh, the film study this week, the weight room, uh, and, and our guys were prepared, and, and I think they went out and played, you know, uh, a, a great game today. You know, you win a game 33 nothing. you're never going to be perfect, but the way we dominated uh, was great to see, the way our defense played, getting another shutout, limiting them to less than 50 yards, getting a defensive score, uh, and, and then the way our offense came out in that first half, those first three out of four possessions was exciting to see. What did you make of the defense's performance today, allowing less than 50 yards and getting the shutout? Uh, anytime you're, you're able to do that as a defense, that's a heck of a performance. Uh, you, you know, because those other guys practice all week long, too, and, and they come in prepared. They watch film. And, you know, really, when you look at the last six quarters, uh, going back to two quarters, last two quarters of Grand Valley, our defense played really well. I mean, they've done a great job of on third downs. They've done a great job of limiting big plays. And I think they've done a great job of stopping the run. So it was great to see it today. It was a shutdown type of performance. Uh, balls got in the air. We, we went up and knocked balls down. Uh, the, the fact that we created turnovers, uh, outstanding. And to get that shutout, uh, you, you know, and really to, to not ever feel threatened, yeah. uh, I thought was, was great for our defense. You touched on this a little bit. You scored both a defensive touchdown and a special teams touchdown. How big was that for the overall team? Real big because, you know, I, I thought Davenport's defense did a good job of clamping down in the red zone. We were we struggled a little bit, uh, you, you know, with our field goal uh, attempt and, and, and then, you know, our lack of field goal attempts going for it in the, in the, in the red zone. And uh, it, it got a little frustrating from an offensive standpoint, but we were relaxed because we knew our defense was playing great. And everyone else in the kicking game was, was doing outstanding. So, you know, to be able to get some scores and, and, and get those scores in the second half like we did, I, I thought were big as far as momentum. And, and then, you know, I think that takes a little bit of pressure off when the offense feels like, you know, they don't have to score every time. If our defense and our special teams can respond the way they did today, I think that's good. What will be the biggest keys for preparing for Ferris State this week? We've got to get better in a lot of areas, and obviously we will because we'll work really hard at it. I think we've got to make the most of our red zone opportunities. We can't get in the red zone as many times as we did today and not come away with more points. We're going to have to take advantage of those opportunities. We're going to have to be better on third down, and we've got to be prepared for speed that is better than what we saw today. I mean, quite frankly, Ferris is going to come in here with speed at those uh, skill positions on offense that's going to challenge our guys, and we've got to be ready to go.